In this video, you are going to learn about transformations. So the objective for this one, for this lesson, is to demonstrate understanding of translation, dilations, rotation, reflections, and relate symmetry to appropriate transformations. So what are you going to learn about transformation? So to transform something is to change it. In geometry, there are specific ways to describe how a figure is changed. The transformation you will learn about, these are the four types of transformation. So we have the translation, rotation, reflection, and dilation. Remember the movie Transformer, right? So from a car, it will transform to a robot. From robot, going back to a car. So this is how you will, you will transform. It's almost related to our lesson. So to transform is to translate, translation by rotation, by reflection and dilation. So renaming, we have renaming the transformation. It will give you from the original shape going to the new shape or the new, we have translation or transformation, we will write a prime in the letters, okay? So using capital letters and then after that, if after transformation, it will give us now A prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime, not Optimus prime, okay? So it is common practice to name transform shapes using the same letters with the prime symbol. So here, a translation slides an object, a fixed distance in a given direction, the original object and its, we have translation, have the same shape and size and they, okay, they face in the same direction. Okay, so here, from one place to another place, they will transform. But there is no changing of the size and shape of the object. So it's almost the same as when you're going to slide, right? In uh, slide, we have pull. There's no changes happen to you after you just slide from the top going down. So your body is still the same, right? So the same here, it just only translate. So from here, from let's say we have from quadrant 2 going to quadrant 1 or up and down. Okay, so whatever the translation, it will just change the, we have the place. That is called translations are just slides. So let's examine some, some translation related to this example. So the example shows how each vertex moves the same distance in the same direction. So from here, okay, so this is the object going to the new place, okay? So therefore we put A prime, B prime, and C prime. So how will we solve now the distance? So it says, here that each vertex slides six units to the right. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So the B vertex here, one, two, three, four, five, six. And also the A, one, two, three, four, five, six. So the object just only slide from here going to the right side or from quadrant 1 or quadrant 2 and 3 going to quadrant 1 and quadrant 4. So therefore, in if you're going to write that one in geometric coordinate or in graphing form, so we will have now what are the coordinates for A and B and C. So you can have now as negative 4 because here, negative 4, 2, point, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So that is four and five. And then the other one we have B is negative one and one and then C is negative four and negative one. What are the coordinates for A prime, B prime and C prime? So now from here it will move to we have A prime is two and five. Okay, so the same value of Y. And then for we have B prime, so the same value of we have y, the changes only in the value of x because it just moved here, slide only, right? Horizontally. And then this last one is c prime is 2 and negative 1. How are they alike? So they are similar triangles, right? There are no changes of the shape of the triangle. 
how are they different? So each vertex now slides 6 units to the right. So therefore, the vertex is different right now. So it is also an example, okay, the slide moves of the figure. So from here, from we have quadrant number 1, it moves there. So how many units it will move? So you can count 1 or you can count down and then slide. Okay, so these figures slide first left and then down. Okay, so we have one, two, three. Okay, so let's count that one. We have, okay, so the point is, let's say, let's use this one. Okay, so we have one, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then one, two, three. So therefore, it says now this figure slides seven units to the left and three units down. So you just move there, okay, move that way and then go down by three units. So therefore, it will seven units to the left and three units to the down. So or three units down, seven units to the left. Either way, so no problem for that. Okay, so from here, what are the coordinates of A, B, and C? So you just write. So if it is in quadrant number one, all are positive. So we have two and four, we have B, four and four, C, five and two, and D, two and one. And then now, change two. We have A is five, negative five now because it moves here, right? So we have four. Okay, so we have four, negative four, and then here will be negative five. That is negative five and one. For B, we have negative three and one. For C, we get negative two and negative one. And then for D, we have negative 5 and negative 2. So you have ordered pair, which is the x and y values. How did the transformation change the points? So it just slides, okay? The figure slides 7 units to the left and 3 units down. Or you can say 3 units down and we have 7 units to the left. So here... When you're going to ride in a Paris wheel, so how the object moves? What do you think? How the object, object moves here? So it is the rotation. It will rotate, okay? It will move. A rotation is transformation that turns on the figure about a fixed point called the center of the rotation, right? If you're going to see in this one, there is a fixed point here. It will just only rotate this way. Okay, so an object, its rotation, okay, its rotation are the same shape and size, but the figures may be turned in different direction. So from here, right, it different way already, but in Paris wheel, it will not do like that one, right? So whatever the figure there, it will do the same here, right? That will not be sideways. So here, the same as in R, it will rotate down. So everything will rotate in the object. So the concept of rotation can be seen in a wallpaper, design, fabrics, and artwork. So rotation are turns, okay? So the object will turn. So this rotation is 90 degrees clockwise. So how will you do that one? So you have to turn everything by 90 degrees, okay? So therefore, from here, it will, you just say this one is your object. So you can turn that one clockwise, so you move your object clockwise and then counterclockwise is this way, right? So therefore, this one is moving that way, okay? So this one is prime. Or you can move this way as well, counterclockwise, right? Clockwise and counterclockwise. So, but this one object turns this way, says that 90 degrees counterclockwise, so this object will go down here okay so if the object will go this way so the this one the c now is different it will go on here okay the d will be different but this one is here differently so here a block can be seen in water in a mirror so mirror when you're looking to the mirror what will happen so therefore this one is a reflection right in a glass or in a shiny we have surface, an object and its reflection have same shape and same we have size, but the figures 
face in opposite direction in a mirror, for example, right and left are switched. Okay, so when you're going to reflect, when you're going to face the mirror, so it's different, right? Different way. So this one is the line of the reflection divides this seashell into two matching halves. Reflection. So when you're going to look at the mirror, so this one will look like this way, right? This one will flip, okay? So you can see the difference. This one as well, in when you are taking some pictures in the water, so the bridge will reflect in the water, okay? So therefore, that is how it will work. So the line, okay, the line where a mirror may be placed is called the, we have the line of reflection. So the distance from a point to a line of reflection is the same as the distance from the points, okay, image to the line of reflection. So the object from the object going to the image, okay? So reflection can be thought of a flipping, okay? Flipping of an object over the line reflection. So whatever the distance of this one here, the B from the reflection, that will be the distance as well The well, we have the image will go, okay? So from the object going to the image. If you fold the two shapes together, the two shapes would overlap exactly. So the distance of C from this one, from the line of reflection, is the same as this one equal, okay? So therefore, that is how you will do for reflection. So for example, here, name the points of the original triangle. So from here, okay, from here, I mean, so in the fourth quadrant, it will reflect on that side. So therefore, the A and A will be the same, equal side, right? So therefore, here we have 1, 2, and 3. So from 1, 2, and 3, so it will reflect as well 3 units. And then for B, it will reflect from 1, 2, 3, 4. So therefore, it will reflect 4 units as well, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Our line of reflection is here, the 0, 0, okay? So this one here with the x value. So name the points or name the points of the original triangle. So we have here all the triangles. So we have 2 and negative 3. B is 5 and negative 4. C is negative. We have 2 and negative 4. Name the points of the reflected triangle. So therefore, you just find the points here of the A, which is 2 and 3. B, which is 5 and 4, and C, we give this one as 2 and 4. What is the reflection line? So that is the x-axis. How did the points change from the reflection, original reflection? So it just only switches to, okay, the sign of y switches, right? So the value of y just only changes. Okay, so from here, you can see we have... 2 and negative 3, and then it changed to 2 and positive 3. Negative 4, positive 4, negative 4, and positive 4. So therefore, the values of the y changes and switches. Next one is the zoom, okay? So it's called deletion. It's a transformation that produces an image that is same shape as the original, but it is different size. The deletion used to create an image that then the original is called an, okay, so image larger and enlargement. A deletion, okay, to create an image smaller than the original is called redaction. Okay, so you are going to change only the sign, the, the size of the shape. So therefore, it's called deletion. So here we have, if you are going to extend, Okay, the equation, so for example here, so from the original, notice how every coordinate of the original triangle has been multiplied, okay? So for example, if you multiplied everything by 2, so therefore here from the original, so therefore you multiplied everything by 2, right? So 2 times 2, 2 times 2, we get negative 4, negative 4, 2 times 1, still we have now... 2 times 1, 2, 2 times negative 1, negative 2, and then we have 0 and 4. So therefore, that is the point now where you can find the new order. 
Okay, so that is deletion. So how you will solve that one? Just multiply how it will extend or how it will zoom up, how it will increase the size. So deletion involves the change in size. So again, let's try to review. Review. So that's this picture shows a translation, rotation, deletion, or reflection. How do you know? What do you think this one? So this one from here going to this way. So let's say this way. That one is rotation, right? So because the value of A will rotate there, the value B will go in there, and the value of C will be here. Next. Okay, does this picture show a translation, rotation, deletion, or reflection? So we just discussed about the last topic, so that is called deletion, right? Because the post image got bigger. Does this picture show a deletion or translation, rotation, or reflection? What do you think? There's a, there is no change of image. There's only changes of the, we have the point. So from here, let's say this one is our reflection line. So we can call that one as, oh, I saw already the line of reflection. So therefore, that is line of reflection. Here, the X, right? And then we call that one, okay? So because the image is just flip over. Which of the following, okay? So which of the following lettered fig figures are translation of the shape of the purple? What do you think? It's just moving, rotation, right? Deletion, it's there as well. We have the translation, it's also there. So A, C, and E are translation of the purple. So A, C, just only moving, right? And then E, no changes of the shape. Uh, so therefore, here are the answers, right? So it says that which of the following lettered Figures are translations. Translation is just only here, here, and this one. You just move there, move to see because this one are some are rotations, some are deletions. How about this one? How each pic well, we have pictures been rotated in the clockwise or counterclockwise direction? What do you think about this one? So this one is clockwise, this one is counter, right? I think this one is counterclockwise. Okay. Next one. Okay, so basically a tessellation is a way to tile a floor that goes on forever, which shapes so that there is no overlapping and no gaps. So these are some of the basic samples, right? This one are just flipping. So some are mirrored, some are we have translation, and some are just only a mirror of the object so this is how you will transform now this is how you will transform the objects so we have the translation we have the rotation we have the deletion and then we have as well the reflection so review about this one try to study and then try to check the videos there are a lot of examples so that you will understand more about transformation. That's all for our discussion for today.